noun that denotes a thing that is neither male nor female that is a thing without life is said to be a neuter gender for example book pen room tree etc now objects without life are often personified that is spoken of as if they were living being when they regard them as male or female a masculine gender is often applied to objects remarkable for strength or violence strength or violence the masculine gender we are talking about here the masculine gender is often applied to objects remarkable for strength and violence like for example if i say the sun summer winter death time for example if i say the sun shed his beams on rich and poor alike the sun shed his so for sun we are using his we are treating it as a masculine because it is applied to object remarkable for strength and balance the feminine gender is sometimes applied to objects remarkable for beauty gentleness and gracefulness beauty gentleness and gracefulness for example if i say the moon the earth spring autumn nature liberty justice mercy peace hope charity the moon has hidden her face behind the cloud now we are talking about moon and we are taking it as a feminine gender second example spring has spread her mantle of green over the earth and the third example peace hath her victories no less renowned than war now ways of forming the feminine noun feminine of a noun there are many ways of forming the feminine of a noun in the first case by using an entirely different word like first to differentiate we'll take one hand masculine and on the other feminine like if i write boy here it get totally a different word girl here if i say black here again we get a totally different name totally different word heifer if i say horse under a masculine here we get mare under feminine if i say here buck is a masculine and here again we get a different other word that is do and the second form is this this was the first form in which i said that we get a totally different name and in second if i say uh, in second it's it is by adding a um uh, es adding e double s adding i n i n e adding t r i x 
or adding O, etc. For example, if I say under a masculine line, we take line. Here it get changed into Linus. Shepherd. Here we get shepherdess. Poet, poetess. Jew, Jewess, host, hostess. Count, countess, manager, manageress. And in the third form, by placing a word before or after. By placing it before or after. Like if I write grandfather, the feminine will be grand mother. Like washerman, washerwoman, salesman, saleswoman, peacock, peahen, milkman, milkwoman, landlord, landlady, great uncle, great aunt. And now, now again, notice the change of form in each of the pair. If I write tree and second trees, box and second boxes. The first word of each pair denotes one thing and the second word of each pair denotes more than one. A noun that denotes one person or thing is said to be in a singular number as boy, girl, cow, tree, book, bird, pen. And a noun that denotes more than one person or thing is said to be in the plural number as boys, girls, birds, trees. Thus there are two numbers in English, the singular and the plural. How plural are formed? First case. The plural of noun is generally formed by adding S to the singular as boy, boys. If I write desk, it will be desks by adding S. And the second Noun ending in sh ending noun ending in s ending with sh ending with ch or x forms the plural by adding es. For S, class, classes, if we talk about SH, brush, brushes, if we talk about CH, match, matches, M-A-T-C-H-E-S, we join E-S. Similarly, a noun ending with the word X like box, it will be boxes, again ends with the word E-S. Now the third form, third form is like most of the noun ends with the word O, also forms the plural by adding ES. For example, buffalo, buffaloes, potato. Potatoes, we have ended it with ES and the noun was ending with the word O and when we have formed it in a plural, we have added with the word ES. Similarly, if I say volcano, it ends with again ES, that is volcanoes. Now, the fourth form is a few noun ending with O, 
merely adds s like ratio ratios ratio z we are ending it with s the noun is ending with o and when we are forming it in a plural we are ending it with s now fifth form if a noun ends with a word y preceding by a consonant forms the plural by changing y into i and adding es changing y into i and adding es that makes i e s like if i say baby it will be turned into babies b a b y is changed into i and adding es that makes baby similarly pony pony city cities lady ladies now in the sixth form the following noun ending with the word f or f e forms their plural by changing the f or f e into v and adding es that makes v e s if i say half here i am changing f into v and adding Yes, that makes halves.